Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at some new G.I. Joe Classified series for you guys. Right now, if you guys have already seen the, the live stream of today, which is February 24, 2022, G.I. Joe is celebrating 40th anniversary. Yes, 40 years of Yo Joe's. Uh, before we continue on, if you guys have already seen the last video that I did for the G.I. Joe Classified series, I think that I did a preview of, go ahead and check it out and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and... Make sure if you want to become a supporter, I have a Patreon, or you can donate me on my Streamlabs. And yeah, pretty much that's it. So we're going to take a look six figures. Well, the rest of the three is in a three-pack of this, which I'll get on with that later. So we're going to take a look at this one right here. We have Tomax uh, 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 Poli. So here we have Tomax, and right off the bat, this figure looks amazingly well. Now, if you guys remember the twins from G.I. Joe, um, their faces are identical, but the only differences between is, of course, is the suit. For Tomax, he has the right shoulder, which is pretty cool. Now, right off the bat, the painting and sculpted detail on this figure looks amazingly well. This silver, red, and the blue on him looks amazingly well. This figure looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now he will does comes with what well, it looks like. He will comes with two knives, dagger knives, a an SMG with a with a removable magazine, which is pretty cool. Head sculpt looks perfectly well. The head sculpt, oh yeah, he does comes with a suppressor right here that you can see a silencer suppressor. His head sculpt is almost the same. Well. Almost, not completely, like almost the same, like that one Spongebob meme, than Handsome Squidward. Like, when Squidward is fully 100% handsome, when Spongebob smashed the shit out of him with a door. It's just like the cheekbones of it, I, I don't fucking know. The silencer, the suppressor that you guys can see is removable, which is pretty cool. It's not much of it to say. The shoulder pad is made of like a part over here made of a soft rubber plastic. And the one of the major complaints about this is the arm articulation can get in the way because of this shoulder pad right here. Same thing with his tin twin brother. And looking over more of the figure, you can see can clearly look the color scheme looks perfectly well. And of course the box, what he looks like. He is number 44. Nice artwork, by the way. Pretty cool. Kind of difference between on the toy. You see Tomax Apoli. Apoli. If I fucked up the name, I'm sorry. And here the accessory that he comes with. And of course, his SMG, his suppressor, magazine, and two dagger knives. Pretty cool. And of course, the back of the packaging, the new look of the back of the packaging. When you can see Sartan, Alley Viper. The other Joes and Cobra, and of course, Snake Eyes. Uh, for, I think Shadowstorm. I forgot the name of it. Fighting each other, which is pretty cool. Then here's all the vehicles right down there. I why do I get to feel like that? G.I. Joe is gonna release like more vehicles of it. And of course, you can see Lady J Spirit and the others right, right up there. So that's Tomax right there. Next up, we're getting on with. If can respond, there we go. Next up, we're getting on with uh, most of the figures will release on May, but next year. So that is kind of stupid, if you ask me. That's pretty stupid. So yeah, it's gonna release in May first, two thousand twenty-three. So yeah, all that was cost about twenty-five dollars, which is pretty stupid on the price. So here it is, Lanzo Stalker Wilkinson. If you guys remember the character. Uh, Stalker, he is one of the coolest characters. I don't know much about any information on any any G.I. Joe characters. The only thing I know that Cobra Commander is the leader of the Cobra, and Duke is the leader of... I think he's the leader of G.I. Joe. I don't fucking know. The only thing I know is because of Robot Chicken. But here it is. Stalker right here. Um, just stalking on Cobra Commander and the twins right there. Looking pretty cool and badass. 
He looks like he will come with a an assault rifle right there and a pistol. But we'll see more on the photos. I love the color scheme right here. Even with the look at the darker tone that he have. Because he's wearing a military suit, the he looks pretty good, like camouflage. Not completely, because it's almost like a different shade of green of the military suit. You can see right here. It's almost look like I don't know. He's holding. I think he's holding an LMG also. I don't know. Of course, the back of the packaging is the same thing. Here it is, Sergeant Stalker right here. This is number forty-six. You can see the color scheme more clearly right here. The gray, the camel gray right here. Now he will come with a shitload of accessories. I shit you not. He will come with this, um, I forgot this is called a little bandana, hat, pistol, assault rifle, LMG, SMG, pistol, ammo, knife, his pack. Does it come with a pack? pack? Nope, does not come. I don't fucking know, but this figure looks amazingly good. Like, look at this. The paint in the sculpt, in it, he looks amazingly well. Actually, I would recommend it to have this figure in your collection. Of course, he's number 46. Here's the artwork of him. Pretty cool looking. Sergeant Stalker right here. You see all the accessories that he comes with, but my god, he look, that looks amazing well. I actually would recommend to have this figure because of the accessories of it. So I will recommend it of it. Alright, next up is the other twin right here. Sam Mort. And of course, he also will release next year. And of course, Sam Mort and his twin brother will come with the same accessories. The figure looks the same identical. And it looks like he has a scar on his face. So, he almost they almost look like identical, but... Samuel looked like he got a scar on his face, and of course he will comes with his SMG suppressor, the removable magazine, the dagger knives right there. The shoulder pad now is on the left side that you can see. You can see some some Cobra troops right there. I forgot the name of it on the background. And of course the issue with this one is the arm articulation can get in the way, which kind of sucks. And look, and he, I guess he looks like he will comes with some interchangeable hands. I may not sure. And of course, the back of the packaging is still the same thing. Duh. Okay, so he will not come with any interchangeable hands. Okay, so thank God for that. But of course, like his Tim twin brother, his HMC, SMG, suppressor, magazine, and the two dagger knives, artwork. Of course, the same thing like his brother, but reverse. And yes, he has a scar on his... Yeah, he does have a tiny scar right here that you can you can barely even see right here on the left side of the face. Well, on the artwork. I don't know about like, the toy, but we'll see. He's number... What's number easy? He's number 45 right there. I don't know what the wave of these figures are, by the way. I'm kind of confused as hell. You can see Sandmore looking good. Yeah, same issue like his twin brother. The, the arm articulation because of the shoulder pads, so yeah. Now we could get it on with the three figures, which is this one right here. And holy crap, I know a lot of people are excited for it to do some army builds for it. I know a lot of G.I. Joe fans like to do some army build. I'm not a fan, you know, doing like army build because uh, there's a lot of reason why I'm not going to do that. But here it is, the Cobra Viper Officer and Vipers. And these three figures looks amazingly well. Of course, the middle one right here is just a straight ray paint of these two goons right here. And right off the bat, these figures look amazingly well. The color scheme on the middle one right here in the officer, light gray, uh, light gray with a little bit of dark gray right here, or color black, with some red gold on the helmet. For the other two, darker blue with black, red, and silver on the helmet looks amazingly good. All. Most of them they will come with some. Oh, they will come with some, some boss effects. Oh, that's pretty cool. Finally, for the first time ever, we're finally gonna get boss effects for the GI Joe figures. But unfortunately, I think there's gonna be this for, for these figures right here. Now, all of them will come with pistols, assault rifle. I think one of them comes with a sniper rifle. 
a okay now this is a suppressor right here a silencer right here that's a big ass barrel big ass barrel right there I'm looking closely in the packaging right here this is number 46 cobra vipers and officers and here's the accessory they all will come with for the officer will come with the i think the officer are they two of the cobras i don't know look like they will come with a bunch of effect piece right here that you can see pistols sold rifles and holy crap this looks amazingly well i think i highly recommend it to have this in your collection Working, look closely more look of the CGI model right here that you guys can see. That looks pretty badass. But here is the main entree right here, the accessories. And oh boy, this is so fun. You got dicks, you got some like some, some muzzle flash accessories, you got some this part right here, the smoking tip right there. Holy shit. Just by looking at this, this looks amazingly good. And like I said, I do higher recommend it to have this in your collection. Look, and I'm not going to lie to you. This is like a pretty good set right here. Like a three pack. It's perfect. Artwork. Oh, fucking hell. It's beautiful. Just looking at the artwork. Okay, whoever make this artwork, I'm giving you a shout out because that is so so beautiful like holy shit that is good and then here's the back of the packaging what it looks like right here that you guys can see and here's the stuff it comes with oh it also comes with the uh pack pack too holy shit i didn't notice that so you see that three pack packs three three different types of pistols different assault rifle smg and this one almost look like a, a a hybrid of an assault rifle and an SMG, and of course, the blast effect. And that pretty much, that's it you guys can see. Would I recommend to have this in your collection if you guys are a bigger fan of G.I. Joe, or if you guys are starting collecting, you know, G.I. Joe, but not like the old toys, like the new ones? I, I actually highly recommend to have this in your collection. Um, Stalker and the Cobra Vipers, Vipers and Officer, I will recommend it. The Twins, they're kind of my least favorite because of the shoulder pad problem, because of the arm articulation, so that's kind of sucks. But for the rest of these wave right here, I don't know what wave is it. I'm just going to put the name of it right here. Tomax, Stalker, Samort, and the Cobra Viper Officer and Vipers. I'll just put in the name of the title and just don't give it a But I actually will recommend it if you guys want this in your collection, so yes. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out the last video that I did or the full playlist, go ahead and check it out at the end of the video, which is starting right now, or in the, or the information symbol on the top right, go ahead and check it out. If you guys have any requests, any G.I. Joe Classified Series figures, make sure you leave a comment down below or go to my Twitter, every social media I have, link in the description down below. Uh, but go to my Twitter if you guys have any requests of any toys you guys want me to review, go ahead and do that. Pretty much that's it, so yeah. Have fun, stay safe, I'm always, I'm out, and be safe. Change the world. Bye, Friday, old bastard.